in my experience, people who have something against GLP-1 medications speak from a, a place of ignorance. Hi guys, it's your girl Keisha Dixon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you found this channel because on this channel, you'll be coming along with me on a journey as I continue to maintain my weight loss using the medication Zepbound. You guys, I'm so glad you made it to the channel today because we're gonna talk about something that's super controversial in the weight loss community and that is, is taking GLP-1 medications the easy way out in losing weight? Or is it just smart? Hello, guys, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Keisha Dixon. You made it here, so go ahead and subscribe and click your notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Okay, so first and foremost, I'd just like to introduce myself to anyone who's new to the channel. My name is Keisha Dixon. I am a registered nurse by trade, you guys, and I have been on my weight loss journey for over a year, you guys. Now listen. I educate people on weight loss using GLP-1 medications because it was beneficial in my life. But truth be told, I really don't give a damn what people think about my weight loss journey. Okay? Now, on every single platform where I teach GLP-1 medications, I'm very open about me using GLP-1 medications. I'm open about my journey, what dose I'm on, my provider, Guys, how much I pay for it, my insurance company. Y'all, I have shown my prior authorization uh, approvals and denials for me and my daughter. I have put my husband on my platforms because he's also on GLP-1 medications. He is a diabetic and as well as my daughter. So I'm an open book when it comes to my weight loss, my weight loss journey and the utilization of these medications within my family. So I ain't hide nothing. And clearly, I'm not embarrassed about it. So I really cannot control what other people think about GLP-1 medications. I can only control my response to people who aren't in agreement with it. And a lot of times in my experience, people who have something against GLP-1 medications speak from a, a place of ignorance, meaning they're not familiar with the medications they don't understand how they work. They don't understand where they come from. They don't know who the manufacturer is. They don't understand the uh, pathophysiology that, come, that comes into play when it's healing people. Pathophysiology is taking lives when it comes to all of these comorbidities that's associated with obesity. And truth be told, I, don't, I, I can't deal with those people. I only want to help those who want to be helped if you understand what i'm saying like you cannot save everybody when it comes to um getting people told or getting people informed on glp1 medications and how it can truly benefit your life if people can stop thinking that these are miracle medications that's going to just help you drop weight like it's this injection that you take and then boom the next couple days you're you're at your goal you guys, it doesn't work like that. And I cannot deal with people who have that mindset coming in. In my experience, people who really want to know about GLP-1 medications and who are really interested in taking those medications are patients who are fed up, patients who are wanting to resolve obesity, wanting to prevent diabetes, wanting to resolve diabetes, or at the very least, get it under control and get off all of the million medications that they're having to take to control it. Um, also, patients who have cardiovascular disease, who wants to turn those things around and who wants to live longer, more prosperous lives and have more um, quality of life when it comes to living their life. Those are the type of people that I empower, that I encourage, and that I wrap my arms around their journey because I know they get it. They understand that this is not just a weight loss medication. This is a medication that is therapeutic in changing lives when it comes to the comorbidities associated with obesity. So if a person asks me, you know, what is my thoughts on people who don't agree with GLP-1 medications and they look at it like, oh, you guys are taking the easy way out. I just look at it like, is it easy or is it smart? Because just because we're taking GLP-1 medications, does that mean that we're not exercising? 
Does that mean that we're not sacrificing um, fatty, empty calories, and all of those things that's associated with um, obesity? Does that not mean that? You know, so it's like, I, I look at those people and my thoughts about those people are just, you just don't get it and you just don't want to get it. And I cannot help you if you don't want to know, if you don't want to get it, if you don't want to educate yourself, if you want to keep responding to those who are living their best lives on GLP-1 medications from an ignorant place. Uh, I can't fool with you. I really can't. But on the other hand, if you are sitting in that place and you do want some education on it, you want to become familiar with it, you want some real knowledge about it, I have time today to explain it to you. And I'll explain it to you in two minutes. So first, let me just start off by saying GLP-1 medications are hormones. Hormones that we naturally produce in our guts. Um, GLP-1 is a hormone indicator of a feeling of fullness and a feeling of satiation. When you are eating and you get full, you're not full because uh, your stomach is big and you cannot put any more food in your stomach. You're full because our hormone is being produced in your gut and it is signaling to your brain, okay, it's time to stop. It's time to slow down. You are full back up from the table. You naturally produce this hormone in your gut. So Eli Lilly, Nova Nordis put this hormone in a pen, okay, which helps people stay full longer. It helps you stay full faster and it helps and it gives you the opportunity to make wiser food choices, right? So this is why people are so successful with this medication because they have the opportunity to make better food choices, which means they are sacrificing all of the things that they love to eat. I mean, you know, and that's, that's with the whole world. There's so many types of food that we enjoy around the world that are not good for us, you guys. And that's just a fact, but that doesn't mean that we don't like to indulge in those things. I know I do, even though I am 74 pounds down, y'all, I still like to eat all of the foods that I used to. I just am able to eat them in moderation because my medication controls that overeating and that overindulging um, thing that we do and that which we do naturally. That's not foreign, we all do it, okay? Just because you don't hold on to weight like I hold on to weight, it doesn't mean that you haven't been gluttonous at some point in your life and don't take gluttonous and run with it. I mean, have not overeaten. All of us have overeaten at some point in our lives. All of us have put something to our mouths when we were not hungry, okay? It's a form of gluttony, you guys. Let's just call a thing a thing. It's not bad. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's nothing to be ashamed about. We're human. It happens. Y'all, get over it. Please. So, on GLP-1 medications, it gives you the opportunity to get that thing under control. And I love that about GLP-1 medications. Even if I want to indulge and overeat on something, the medication sits you down and says, no ma'am, you've had enough. It's okay, take you a little taste and have a seat. And that's what I do. And that is the reason why I've been able to maintain my 74 pound weight loss in over six months. I've been met my goal, you guys, but because I continue to take my medication, I'm able to stay within my goal and eat within my means, okay? It's, it's okay, it's okay. But on a serious note, for those of you who don't understand, you risk way more side effects and comorbidities staying obese rather than taking a GLP-1 medication, which will help you get your diabetes under control, your A1Cs under control, it will keep your blood glucose levels under control. Do we not know that when our blood gl glucose levels are out of control, it, it uh, promotes poor tissue healing, which means poor wound healing, which means amputations, okay? Do we not know that it puts a big, big, big weight on your kidneys. So a lot of us go into kidney injuries and kidney failure, which will put you on dialysis as a diabetic patient. Let's talk about cardiovascular disease. Do we, do we not know that all of the fat that is accumulated in our blood sits around our hearts, causing our hearts to pump, pump more forcefully, 
which enlarges the heart because the heart is a muscle. Okay. So when it has to pump against that, which it is not supposed to, it grows and grows and grows, enlarges, which causes a plethora of comorbidities, not to mention the triglycerides and all the fat that is rolling around and, and um, flowing around and your blood system gets hard along your blood vessels, hardening your blood vessels, creating more of an issue for your heart to pump the blood that it needs to pump to and from the heart to nourish the body. Y'all, it's bigger than weight loss. We need to get over the weight loss and get into the healthy part of what GLP-1 does for people, okay? So if you're a person who doesn't believe in GLP-1 medications and you say, okay, why don't y'all just back up from the table, put the food down, go into the gym and work out. People who are on these medications, a lot of people who are on these medications have been doing that. But a lot of people have issues with their hormones. So it doesn't matter how much they work out. It doesn't matter how much they back up from the table. They have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which prevents them from being able to have the natural weight loss like you would naturally have when you're in the gym working out. So they're just using another tool, GLP-1s, to assist them in that way so that they can now be able to burn the calories the way you think that it's expected to be. And guys, I honestly can get into a thousand reasons why people who don't believe in GLP-1 medications have come to me and said they don't, but I'm not because I honestly really don't care. The only thing that I care about is that I have found a way to keep me healthy. It's one injection per week, probably for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that because I know one thing, I will never have heart disease, I will never have kidney disease, I will never be obese again, I will never have to worry about losing my leg. I don't have those things to worry about, so if I have to take an injection for the rest of my life to prevent those things, that's just what I'm gonna do. It's just what I'm gonna do, and I don't care what anyone thinks about it, I really don't. And I honestly don't think that you should either. If you self-educate, Put yourself in a position of knowledge. Put yourself in a position situated at a table with people who are knowledgeable about GLP-1 medication, the side effects, as well as the benefits. Then I think that you'll be able to make an educated decision for yourself and for your family. I don't think I have ever said to anyone, if you take GLP-1 medications, not to go work out, not to eat healthy, not to um, make sure you're taking your supplements. I don't think I've ever said those things because those things are all things that you are going to have to do in order for these medications to work anyway, okay? You don't take the injection and the weight just falls off. I don't know why that is such a big misconception and I don't know why people's minds immediately takes them there. Like if you've not experienced this or you've not watched your family member sacrifice and do all of those things while on these medications. What are you talking about? Like, why are you even speaking? It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, I don't wanna hold you guys. I just wanted to come and answer that question because I have so many people asking me, how do you handle all the negativity? Honey, I don't even see it. Honestly, like as soon as I see stuff like that, I'm like scrolling on to the next thing. It doesn't bother me at all. Cause look, look, look at me, honey. Does it look like I am concerned? I'm honestly not. I'm only concerned about those who need the help, who want the help, and who needs me to back them in their weight loss journey. That's the only thing that I'm truly focused on. And guys, honestly, truth be told, GLP-1 medications are the new weight loss surgery. Like people are still doing weight loss surgeries, but they're trying GLP-1 medications first. If anything, when they are having surgeries, it's only to like tone up and kind of reshape their bodies after the weight loss. Because let me tell you, the risk in having weight loss surgery as opposed to taking GLP-1 medications, like do I even really need to get into that? I've taken care of so many people who have had weight loss surgeries and who have um, had the, um, where they cut your stomach in half or where they narrow it and all of those things. I've had so many patients with complications of those type of surgeries. 
big complications, huge complications. I've counseled more people on that than I have on GLP-1 medications, truth be told. So to me, GLP-1 medications are the new weight loss surgeries, but safer. So guys, in closing, if you're on GLP-1 medications, do not let those people bother you, honey, because you see where you were, where you're at, and you can envision where you're going on your weight loss journey. So, dust. Now, if you guys have made it to the end of the video, I want to say thank you guys so much for following my journey. Please engage in the comments. Tell me what you think about this topic, you guys. Also, if you have a loved one that is battling obesity and you feel like they need some inspiration they need to be empowered please have them to follow this channel have them to follow me on tiktok as well as on facebook because i have a lot of educational videos inspirational videos and i have a lot of friends that also empower individuals on their weight loss journeys you do not have to do this alone i am definitely here to support you and root you on so guys share this video each one teach one okay and i'm definitely gonna see you guys in my next video love you guys good luck on your weight loss journeys let's go <laughs> i'm kisha dixon i'm a lifestyle influencer and i'm glad you found my channel i post weekly videos so make sure to hit your notification bells so you don't miss any of those future uploads